Hey guys, we're Maxi here, and welcome back to episode something of Bucket Plugin Tutorial Making. And I'm sorry I haven't uploaded one in a quite a while, but you know, <laughs> I've been very busy. <laughs> Ooh, look at all those packages and classes. Ooh, yeah. But anyway, so this is probably this. I think my third time doing this, doing this one particular thing because <laughs> complications. First time the the recording software completely stopped right in the middle of it. Second time my mic was off, so I will get it this time. I'm all good. So what we're going to be covering is uh, task timers and runnable, and yeah. So let's just get on with that, and we can start off with making a new method of public void timer. Yep, and we can have it take in a actually no have it take in nothing and we can do this without that so what we're going to need up here is we are going to need uh, we're going to need a public void integer why don't I just put void okay public static integer <laughs> uh, let's call it time no not timer time let's have it equals 16 yeah, 16. And then we can have another public static integer. And let's have it t. And let's not set equal to anything. Alright. And I'll, I'll cover what these things are going to be for later. But what we're going to be making is a 15 second countdown. And it's going to be good. So we can start off over here with t equals bucket dot get scheduler dot He's back, you sexy mother folks. He's back. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. <laughs> um, okay, I'll probably have to edit that out. So, what we have here is we can schedule... Actually, no, no. Okay. Before that popped up, I was going to go over this. So, what we can do is we can schedule a delay task or a repeating task. Today we'll be working with a repeating task, and I'll show you why in a few seconds. But first, for the repeating task, we have four arguments that we'll be using. We have the plugin, which is just an instance of your main plugin itself, of like the main class, which for this case is just this, this class. Then for the second argument, it has to be a runnable, so we can create a new runnable. And in order for runnable to work, we must do a public void run right after. And now for these two little argument twos and argument threes. Argument two is a is how much delay do you want on? I guess on the timer itself. But for no, for now, we don't want any delay, so we'll be putting it at zero L. Now we want this thing to go over every second, of course. So. So I'm going to set this to 20L, because there are 20 ticks in a Minecraft second. Actually, no. <laughs> There's 20 Minecraft ticks in one world, like, real world second, you could say. So, when we have that, we can just have up here, simple. If timer is not equal to 1, actually, that negative 1. I don't care if you're just back, you sexy mofos. Jeez. If time isn't equal to 1, then we can just have time minus minus. So if time, so if it isn't negative 1, then you subtract 1 from the time. Simple, right? So then we can do if, actually, separate that. If time is equal to 15, we can just do a for loop. So I don't know if I went over this before, but uh, a for loop is it gets what it, like an instance of this. Like say, for this for this example, we'll be using the player. So it gets one instance of player for every player inside of a group. You could say. So bucket dot get online players. So it gets all the online players. And it puts them into one instance of a player. 
So what you really do here, it does for every single player online. So that you don't have to find the name of every player and go through it all. Makes it much quicker and easier this way. So that, that's that's always nice. So what we can do is we can send a message. We can just have it say, um, I don't know, uh, timer is at time seconds. And I don't know why those plus signs are like that. And anyway. So what this will do, it will, it will display at 15 seconds, the timer is at whatever the time is, which should be 15 seconds. Then we can copy this, we can use this again for 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, and actually 0 as well. So we can change that to 10, that to 5, to 3, to 2, that to 1. And that to zero. So, what we can do is, if time is equal to zero, then we can get bucket dot get scheduler again dot cancel task t. And I'll go over what all this does right after I change this. So, then we can just say go. All right. So, what we have here is we created a new method called timer. We set an integer of t equaling this scheduler. And remember, it's always good to do this just in case you want to, you know, cancel this task and stop it from running at any point whenever you want to. So you should probably always have it equal have this equal something. You don't have to, but I mean I be, I could have it like that. But t equals makes it a lot easier. So then we are doing a repeating task. So whatever ha whatever is between here and here, it will be repeating this every second as we specified here until it gets cancelled when it reaches zero right here. So then what it will do is if the time isn't equal to negative one, which it shouldn't be because we set it to sixteen, so if it isn't equal to negative one, then it will subtract one from the time. And then it will display this accordingly, depending on if time equals something. So that should be just about that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment or anything. But it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And yeah, so what we can do here is we can just create, we can just copy that. We can have this equal to. Uh, say timer, and then we can just have it run timer. So what actually? Yeah. So then we need just need to put this in our plugin dot yml. So we can just take that, oops, like that and like that. Change boomstick. I love that name. It's fantastic. First thing I learned how to do, boomstick. Change that to timer, and we can leave that the same because it doesn't really matter. You can change that if you want, but I won't be, because I'm lazy. And yeah, so what well, what this is is should be good. So when a player runs the command dash timer, it will run this, which will run this, which will hopefully run this. All right. So now let's whoa, let's save. There, exports next, and make sure you save it to where your plugin is. And finish. All right, and let's bring up this. Let's make sure that we reload it. Okay, and let's back on the boomstick. It's the boomstick still works because we you know we didn't change anything, so it should still work. Now if we run dash timer, timer is at 15 seconds. Timer is at 10 seconds. It's at 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Yay! Booms all around! 
booms all around. Yay! Yay! Lava! Water. Lava. Lava fiery goodness. Yay. Blow me up. Don't take that literally. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. So, that's kind of what I wanted to cover today. For the most part. Anyway. So, um, oh yeah. Before I forget. This. Let's set this to ADL. Which should be a delay of 4 seconds. So, what it should do is when we... Next, and we reload it. What it should do is timer. Good. It shouldn't show up until four seconds afterwards. Okay, fifteen. And then should be at ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Awesome. So yeah, and so thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to, if you want to see something happen on this series, like say you want to create something that you saw on your favorite server, and you know, wondering, oh wow, Max, how do I do that in, in coding? How how am I how can I do this? Well, I guess I'll have to teach you. So, and I can't teach you if you don't tell me. So, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Please tell me what you want to see with this series, where you want it to go, because I'm leaving it all up to you guys. But I think next time, I'm either going to cover... Um, they already do inventories. I don't even know. I might do inventories if I haven't done it already. And s scoreboards, actually. No, I w actually, I'm going to do scoreboards next time. Yeah, that's always fun, scoreboards. So, yeah. Oh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope you liked it, and I really hope you learned something, and I hope you use this. So, yeah. Take care. Goodbye.